Just steal the Oh my god! Run! Oh, they shooting! But it is, guys, for Blasphemous HD. Now, you guys might not know this about me, but given I grew up in the hood, one of the things we used to do to pass the time, given that we were all broke as all living crap, was steal. Usually, you know, Kmart, Walmart, someone that was talking smack in school, so after we beat him up, we took his wallet. You know, the regular stuff. You know, sometimes inside of people's homes when they were hopefully away at work, depending on where they hid their valuables. But with that being said, stealing is not smart. Because even if you do get to steal it, you know, when you spend the money, now you still got an arrest case or someone's looking for you or you might break into their house and their home and they have a dog and you have to jump off of a second story balcony in order to not get caught and sent to prison. Now the only thing worse than being a thief is a dumb thief. And the only thing worse than a dumb thief is being a dumb thief that gets caught on camera doing the stealing. And that's what we're here to check out today. Now if you guys wanna watch the original video, it is by Be Amazed. The link is in the description down below me. <laughs> I charge money. Let's do this. In the movies, criminals are often portrayed as suave, sophisticated figures who rob banks and museums in tailored suits with high-tech gadgets. Unfortunately, the reality is a little bit less glamorous, and most thieves are considerably less intelligent than the characters we see on the silver screen. Today, we're going to find that out firsthand, checking out a police lineup of clumsy criminals, bumbling burglars, and moronic shoplifters, as we take a look at some seriously stupid thieves who were caught on camera. If you've ever watched a heist movie, you'll know that a successful robbery requires a few things. A ragtag crew of misfits, a montage sequence, and most importantly, the perfect escape vehicle. Unfortunately, this first stupid thief missed that memo. After robbing a store and running into the parking lot, this dim-witted criminal took his eyes and hands off the prize by chucking his ill-gotten gains into the back of his open-top truck. Everybody loves a good chase sequence, but this one was a little anticlimactic as an employee casually jogged up to the truck, grabbed the stolen goods, and waltzed away, forcing the thief to drive off empty-handed. The criminal's terrible choice of getaway vehicle is pretty embarrassing, but incredibly, he isn't the only thief who was foiled by a pickup truck. Damn! Believe it or not, this isn't a deleted scene from Home Alone, and the crafty homeowner behind this booby trap is Katie Camarena from Porterville, California, not Kevin McAllister. In the weeks prior to this video, Katie's neighborhood had been targeted by a gang of criminals who'd started sneaking up on people's driveways in the dead of the night and stealing tools out of their vehicles. Katie's motion-activated porch light didn't deter the criminals and the police were of little help. So the Camarinas decided to take the law into their own hands. Unfortunately, these suburban vigilantes didn't actually don masks and weapons to clean up the mean streets of Porterville. Instead, they grabbed a motion-activated lawn sprinkler and rigged it up to their truck. The trap worked perfectly, and when this criminal pulled into the Camarina's driveway that evening, all the thief cycled away with was a face full of water. Well, I assume he was a thief. Hopefully that wasn't the local paper boy. Well, between well, that be. getaway fail and the cat burglar who was scared off by a spritz of water, which criminal did you think was dumber? So that criminal didn't steal a single tool, but the Camarina's DIY booby trap definitely made him look like one. He shouldn't feel too bad, though. Some criminals don't need outside help to make themselves look stupid whilst committing their crimes. Walmart's official slogan is, Save money, live better. And this criminal decided to heed their advice, saving himself a ton of cash by stealing from the store. God, As Jesus. the dim-witted thief took his items with a five-finger discount, he wasn't too concerned with subtlety, shoving a giant box under his hoodie and hoping for the best as he stood in line. There isn't much information about this criminal online, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he probably got caught. 
While that was a pretty pathetic attempt at crime, not every criminal is so inept. This thief is like a magician. Able it's the strongest vagina known to man. Good lord. I don't know whether to be turned on or scared. Possibly a mixture of both. Good lord. Well, to lift up her dress and make an entire television disappear in the blink of an eye. She stuck it the right in there. The crime occurred in Guapeles, Costa Rica, back in 2015. Oh my and god. And although the woman looks pretty stupid squatting over the television box, the way that she holds it between her legs, covers it with her dress, and walks out of the store that naturally is undeniably impressive. I've heard people use the term as thick as thieves, but I didn't realize they were talking about their thighs. Yep, According did. to the local authorities, this woman was never identified or caught by the police, so you might be wondering why I'm calling her stupid. Well, one, the camera was right there. Two, stop defending criminals. And three, look at what would have happened if she'd been caught. Vamos lá, vamos ver o que tá escondido aí. Vamos lá, vai tirando, vai tirando, yep. tira tudo. Yep. Pull it right out of your vagina. Que bonito, hein? Não joga no shopping. Não joga no shopping. Vamos lá, vamos yeah. lá, vai tirando aí. Check her breasts. We got to check her boobs as well. Vira pra cá, vira aqui, ó. Hey. These two women from Brazil tried to emulate our favorite Costa Rican criminal, but unfortunately, they didn't have the thigh strength to pull off the job. The thieves reportedly grabbed a number of toiletries from this store before stuffing them in their underwear and attempting to walk out without paying. Fortunately, they were caught with their pants down as the eagle-eyed shopkeeper spotted what they were doing and forced them to lift up their dresses, revealing their stolen booty. I'm glad the shopkeeper caught the thieves, but I really hope they didn't put those products back on the shelves without giving them a deep, deep clean first. It turns out this method of shoplifting is pretty common, although some criminals are more creative than others. Yep, like a fucking kangaroo. Just shove they it right down the front is of pain, it. But when this criminal chose to steal a top from this clothing store, I don't think she anticipated quite how painfully embarrassing it would be when she got caught. This shoplifter is a little bit craftier than those Brazilians, boasting a pair of customized shorts with a built-in pouch that allowed her to hide her stolen goods like a criminal kangaroo. Unfortunately, she got all dressed up for nothing, and after being caught by a shopping attendant, she was forced to stand and wait as they lifted up her dress and exposed her crimes to the rest of the store. The yep. way that that criminal was exposed was pretty embarrassing, but at least she put some thought into her robbery. The same can't be said for this next thief. As this Australian teenager placed a crate full of alcohol on this store's counter and sidled up to the automatic doors, he thought he'd orchestrated the perfect crime. The thief planned to snatch the booze and run straight out of the store before anyone had time to react. But unfortunately, the shopkeeper was one step ahead of him. The shopkeeper had noticed the teen's shifty behavior, prompting him to casually reach to his left and use a wireless key fob to lock the store's doors right at the beginning of the video. As a result, when the kid tried to grab the drinks and run, he found himself trapped inside the store. Nick. He'd attempted to steal some pre-mixed Jack Daniels and Coke, but thanks to that shopkeeper's quick thinking, the kid ended up with Jack, forcing him to awkwardly search for cash in his pockets and have the world's most embarrassing conversation with the man he just tried to rob. Let's move from petty thieves and shoplifters to a criminal who tried to steal something a bit more substantial. Are you serious? What are you going? Together. 
This thief from New Jersey was skilled enough to steal an entire ATM, but unfortunately he'd forgotten to hire a getaway driver. With no way of getting the ATM home, he decided to turn to public transport, plugging the machine up to a bus and asking the driver for a ride. I don't know how much bus drivers earn in New Jersey, but this one is clearly happy with his salary because he closed the doors and left the criminal stranded on the side of the road. This video is absolutely hilarious, but it was originally uploaded by internet comedian and influencer Darius DK, so unfortunately, there's a good chance that this is actually a staged prank. Even if the ATM robbery is fake, there are equally shocking examples of real criminals getting stuck in sticky situations. How the hell did he get in there? This video from Andhra Pradesh, India shows the moment that a burglar was discovered calling for help after getting stuck in a hole in the side of a temple. The thief had reportedly broken into the temple through a small ventilation window before filling his pockets with holy ornaments made out of silver. And when the criminal tried to climb back out through the hole, he got stuck, left hanging out of the wall as his legs kicked around inside. That's a damn Talk shame. Talk about karma. After struggling for a while, the thief was forced to shout for help, alerting some passers-by. Unsurprisingly, these locals weren't particularly understanding, and instead of helping the criminal escape, they filmed him and called the police. I'm not sure how long the thief was stuck in the wall for, but something tells me he'll be stuck behind bars for a little bit longer. The footage of the criminal is pretty damning, but still, it could be worse. At least he wasn't literally caught with his pants down. This criminal from Tucson, Arizona found himself in one of the most incriminating positions in the world, as he was caught hanging upside down on the fence of an elementary school. What type of nasty shit were you doing? That looks like he into some sort of freak type-ish. Hanging upside down like he got some dominatrix female that was doing painful, dirty stuff to him, but except like left him there because he ran out of money or either robbed him and then just left because that's what they usually do. Gotta be careful, man. With his pants around his ankles. According to an eyewitness, the criminal climbed and slipped off the fence of Miles Elementary School in an attempted break-in. Apparently, as the criminal fell off the fence, his baggy pants got caught on its spikes, leaving him hanging by his ankles with his tidy whities on show. The cops soon arrived on the scene, helping the criminal down from the fence before cuffing him and placing him in another tricky position, the back of a police car. It still isn't clear why the man was attempting to break into an elementary school. Maybe he was there for, I don't know, coloring books? No, Wouldn't being be that good. stupid, I doubt he even has the capacity to color inside the lines. That guy found himself in a pretty embarrassing situation, but he isn't the only criminal who was caught hanging upside down. This thief in England was found hanging by his shoelaces after attempting to break through a window and burgle a house in Dartford, Kent. According to the local police, as the burglar tried to climb through the broken window, he managed to slip over while simultaneously getting his shoe and shoelaces trapped in the window frame. The criminal was left hanging upside down for over an hour as a crowd of 30 passers-by gathered to watch the commotion and mock him. When the homeowner got back from work, the burglar reportedly begged to be let down, but unsurprisingly, the homeowner called the cops instead. This next criminal encountered a similar problem whilst breaking and entering. That's about to break. That's gonna break. Oh, it didn't break? It didn't break. Hey. Tell me he doesn't break that with his backpack. This footage shows the moment that a criminal from Melbourne, Australia attempted to break into a bookstore. As the burglar's backpack gets caught in the store's door, he struggles with it for a considerable amount of time. Who steals a book? Who robs a bookstore? What? Pulling with all of his strength before realizing he can just take it off. Despite robbing a bookstore, this thief clearly lacks the brain cells to be able to read. However, against all odds, the criminal was somehow successful, and he was later recorded exiting the store with their safe lugging the heavy container down the road. 
well, he got away with the goods. Though I'd argue the video of his slapstick break-in is worth 10 times whatever was in the safe. All those felons fell at the first hurdle. However, even when thieves make it inside the place they're robbing, there's still plenty that can go wrong. Is he serious? He's really crawling on the floor. What the fuck? Who does he think he is, 007? We in the First World War, bro? R really? Come on, dog. Now I know what you're thinking. The new Mission Impossible looks really low budget. Well, in reality, this security footage comes from Australia, not Hollywood. And it shows the moment that a suburban home was burgled by a criminal known as the Brighton Crawler. That nickname sounds pretty terrifying, but when you watch this bumbling criminal drag his belly across the ground, it's kind of hard to be intimidated. When the crawler first broke into the home, he actually managed to notice the security cameras, prompting him to stop, drop, and crawl out of sight. This display of intelligence was pretty short-lived, and as he tried to crawl across the floor to avoid being seen, he accidentally shoveled his way into view. If that wasn't stupid enough, the crawler then turned and stared straight at the camera, giving the cops a clear look at his face. According to the police, the crawler attempted to steal two safes from the home, but when a neighbor came to investigate the disturbance, he ran away and climbed over the garden fence, escaping empty-handed. Unfortunately, the police haven't been able to identify or track down the criminal, so as of now, the Brighton Crawler is still at large, slithering around the streets of Australia in search of a new house to unsuccessfully rob. The home security cameras got a pretty good look at the crawler's face, so he's incredibly lucky that the police weren't able to identify him. Committing a crime like that without wearing a mask seems pretty dumb, but then again, a disguise doesn't always make a criminal harder to track down. When this criminal from Belleville, Illinois decided to hold up a gas station, he had the bright idea of wearing a mask. Unfortunately, his choice in disguise left a lot to be desired, as he walked into the store and robbed the cashier with a see-through plastic bag over his head. Oh boy! The criminal only stole $60 from the gas station, but to be fair, that was probably all he could carry. It's not like he could use the bag he brought. Unsurprisingly, when this CCTV footage was shared with the police, it didn't take them long to identify the criminal and arrest him, and he was later sentenced to 15 years in prison for the robbery and a string of previous offenses. The Plastic Bag Bandit is pretty dumb, but he has some competition. I really thought his name was the Plastic Bag Bandit for a second. I'd have lost it on camera, yo. These shoplifters were caught on camera stealing alcohol from a convenience store in Louisa, Virginia, while donning two carved out watermelons fitted with eye holes. It isn't clear why the melon-headed criminals decided to don these makeshift melon masks, but it didn't take long for the Louisa Police Department to identify one of them as 20-year-old Justin Rogers. Justin was charged with larceny, and while the police didn't explain how they tracked him down, if I had to guess, I'd say they probably used their own melons. Let's move from shoplifting to white-collar crime as we check out the story of an independent contractor who had to pay $563 in damages and serve two years of probation after attempting to defraud the company he was working for. Motherfucker. This is Alexander Goldensky, an independent contractor who decided to have a change in career, trying his hand at acting and insurance fraud at the same time. In this video, Alexander clearly pours a cup of ice on the floor before stepping on a cube and pretending to slip over. Yep, After the go. video ends, the fraudster reportedly rolled around on the floor for a while until one of his colleagues found him and called an ambulance. After being taken to hospital, Alexander filed a large insurance claim against the company, asking them to pay for his ambulance ride and the supposedly expensive treatment he received for his non-existent injuries. The company were happy to pay, but first they had to conduct an investigation into the incident. An investigation that uncovered this damning surveillance footage. 
The embarrassing video incriminated Alexander immediately, and instead of receiving a big insurance payout, he was forced to pay $563 in restitution to the insurance firm, serve two years of probation, and undergo 14 hours of community service. All in all, Alexander's career as a fraudster didn't work out, and he's unlikely to get hired as an independent contractor ever again. Did he get fired, though? However, if I was him, I'd try and find myself an agent and book some auditions. With acting chops like this, he was clearly born to be on the silver screen, not the floor. Watching Alexander shamelessly steal from work is pretty disheartening. However, not all criminals are so dishonest. Some of them genuinely love good old-fashioned hard work. What is he doing? I don't get it. This criminal is either the stupidest or the most thoughtful thief in the world. Because after stealing a lawnmower from a house in Port Arthur, Texas, he decided to do some yard work, heading out into the garden and mowing the homeowner's lawn. When the police arrived, the crook reportedly ran away from the cops, dragging the lawnmower behind him. Unfortunately, the weight of the lawnmower was too cumbersome, prompting him to ditch it in an alleyway before making his escape. The police used the security camera to identify the thief as a local criminal called Marcus Hubbard. However, they weren't able to track Marcus down, and they're reportedly still looking for his whereabouts. If you ask me, even if the cops do find Marcus, the real winner in all of this is the homeowner. After all, they got their lawnmower back and their lawn mowed for free. Yep. Sounds like a win-win to me. That's real. Marcus managed to get away from the cops, but not all criminals are lucky enough to evade arrest. Back in 2017, John Bell from Houston, Texas tried to rob a cell phone store, storming in with a gun and demanding that the shopkeeper empty the cash register. Unfortunately, he was immediately outsmarted by both the shopkeeper and her customers as they quickly rushed out of the store and locked the door behind them. At this moment, John became the hostage as he was stuck inside the store with no way of getting out. Most thieves want to break into places, but over the next eight minutes, John did everything he could to get out of the building desperately kicking and ramming the door in futile attempts to break through the glass and steel bars. Unfortunately, he was as skinny as he was stupid, and after a few minutes of prying and begging passersby to let him out, the police arrived, arresting the criminal before later sentencing him to five years in jail. Although technically, he'd already served eight minutes. Now, this next thief's breaking and entering skills are more efficient than stupid. However, the target of his burglary makes him look pretty dumb after he put in all that effort to steal a Mickey Mouse toy from a piano store. Motherfuck. I've heard of a cat burglar, but this thief's interest in plush mice is pretty confusing. What? Nobody's sure why the criminal stole such a worthless item, but hey, thieves are people too. Maybe he just gets lonely at night. The thief was never identified, but luckily a local charity bought the store a new Mickey Mouse toy for the window and threw in a plush Minnie Mouse as an added bonus. That's a nice gesture, or should I say, a mice gesture. <laughs> yeah, I'll see myself out for that one. You, you shouldn't say that. I'm not sure why a thief would steal a plush toy, but this next criminal has a much clearer motive for his crime. Hunger. This criminal gave a new definition to the term caught red-handed after attempting to steal a rack of lamb meat from a kebab restaurant. Unfortunately for the thief, these rotating skewers are superheated to cook the lamb meat and keep it warm throughout the night, a fact that he only learned after grabbing the metal. The thief's eyes were bigger than his stomach and his pain tolerance as the heat forced him to flee the shop with nothing but burnt hands and a bruised ego. Don't get me wrong, stealing food from a restaurant is pretty immoral behavior, but do you know what's even worse? Being a quitter. That bandit's lack of commitment to his crime is disappointing to see, but to be fair, he isn't the only criminal who gave up at the first hurdle. Just steal the shit. Oh my God. Run, bitch. Oh, they shooting. They shooting back. 
Oh my God, that's a dead. I just opened the gate. When this porch pirate from Tacoma, Washington, decided to steal this package, he saw it as a way to make himself some easy cash. Little did he know this house was far from an easy target, and he'd accidentally stumbled upon the home of Jeremy Barrow, the creator of an anti-porch pirate booby trap called the Blank Box. The Blank Box's story starts back in 2017 when Jeremy's packages were getting repeatedly stolen by porch pirates. Jeremy decided to get some revenge on the thieves, so he constructed a fake package out of blank shotgun shells and fishing wire that lets out a flash and a bang when lifted. As you can see, Jeremy's so-called blank box was pretty effective at deterring porch pirates, and before long, every criminal who tried to rob Jeremy was sent running away, sprawling across his front yard in fear. The gadget worked so well that he started selling them, setting up an online store to help other people with a porch pirate problem. Instead of spending a ton of money on advertising, all Jeremy had to do to sell the product was buy a porch camera, set up a YouTube channel, and expose every thief who tried to steal his packages showing how effective the blank box is at keeping his delivery safe. Exposing all those porch pirates online must be pretty satisfying for Jeremy. However, I'm not sure he should bother going to all the effort because sometimes the stupidest criminals expose themselves. Back in 2012, Hannah Sabata from Waco, Texas decided to go on a crime spree, robbing $6,000 from a bank at gunpoint and stealing a Pontiac Grand Am. By all accounts, the 19-year-old had gotten away with her crimes after successfully evading the cops and making it back home. Unfortunately, instead of lying low and enjoying her newfound wealth, Hannah decided to pull out her camera and make a YouTube video. What? Then I robbed the bank? In this grainy, glitchy video, Hannah boasts about her crimes in great detail while showing her ill-gotten gains off to the camera. As you can imagine, it didn't take long for the police to see the video, and they arrested Hannah the same day that it was uploaded. With this online confession, the case was open and shut, and Hannah was later sentenced to 10 to 20 years in prison for her crime spree. Bruh. So her life as a teenager and her career as a YouTuber came to an abrupt end. Uploading your own confession onto YouTube is pretty stupid, but it could be worse. Back in 2017, a burglar called Jesse Baruby won up Hannah and established himself as one of the dumbest criminals of all time. After calling 911 on himself. What? In December 2017, Jesse decided to channel his inner Santa Claus as he attempted to burglarize a business in Citrus Heights, California by climbing down their chimney. Now, Santa's had a lot of practice climbing down chimneys over the years, but unfortunately, this was Jesse's first time. As he reached the bottom of the chimney, he got stuck. Jesse tried to wiggle his way out of the tight, dark space, but eventually, he accepted his fate, reaching into his pockets and dialing 911 for help. Presumably, the local police spent a good few minutes laughing at Jesse over the phone before heading to the scene and discovering him trapped in the chimney completely covered in soot. After another bout of laughing, the cops rescued him from the hole, pulling him to safety and charging him with one count of burglary. Jesse might be one of the only criminals to have called the cops on himself. And he better watch his back in prison. Nobody there likes snitches. Not even the ones who snitch on themselves. Okay, so when I was younger, we used to always steal from Kmart. That's the place we all stole from. Now, the reason why we used to steal all the time is because we didn't have no money. And Game Boy, it came out with Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. And in order to play just like four hours on the Game Boy, it was like $40 worth of batteries, man. So me, I stole probably around like $800 in batteries, honestly. A lot of money. I was I was really doing it. I'm up at Kmart and I've got a bunch of gum and candy and I've got batteries and I had cut a hole in the side of my jacket. So when I would steal the batteries and the gum, I would shove them into the side of my jacket. I would take all the wrappers and just shove them behind all the other like foods and, and uh, groceries and shit. I was in a different aisle looking for other stuff to steal and an adult walked past me. I think it was a guy who was a secret shopper because he had on sunglasses. He drops all my wrappers in front of me and just keeps walking like he didn't see me. I got scared crapless. I'm like, oh my God, this guy, he obviously is a police officer. They know I'm stealing. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Luckily enough for me, I knew that the, the little metal buzzers wouldn't go off, which was a scary part of stealing is when you walk through the little metal detectors and you think that they're gonna catch you, you think you get caught. I leave out the store, I still got all the candy and stuff in my pockets and whatnot. The metal detector didn't go off. I'm about 20 feet into the parking lot 
and this 260 something pound white dude shaped like a football linebacker comes charging at me the only reason why i know he was charging at me is because i heard his footsteps turned around in time to get tackled bro he tackled me so hard bro knocked all of the wind out of me so then he drags me back into the store man they put me in this interrogation room in the back of kmart and they called my mom when my mom came down there she brought her belt and she had the nerve to still have her shower cap on because apparently she was in the shower she had a robe on and she very embarrassingly beat me the whole way out of the kmart and i'm like crying and trying to act tough ah, oh my like she just yeah beat me all the way out that wasn't my last time stealing but i stopped for a while after that one hope y'all enjoyed the little story it always ends up in me telling y'all about some stuff that i shouldn't tell people about hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to comment like it don't subscribe it's your boy blast from sage d twizzles